Hello everyone! Today I have something new to show you guys. It's different from the normal content that I show you. But I am going to show you guys how to pack your jewelry to move. So, we are going to be moving fairly soon. So the first thing, I have this big jewelry box. Most of this jewelry is not expensive jewelry. It's costume jewelry, but I still don't want it tangled up or messed up when we move. So we're about to get ready to put our house on the market. I also don't want this big jewelry box filled with jewelry sitting out in my room while people are coming in and out of our house to show our house. So I'm gonna show you guys how I pack up my jewelry, one, to put away while we're showing the house, and two, to have it ready to move when we get ready to move. So for those of you who have one of these big jewelry boxes, of course you have your big ear necklaces here, they're all put in sections, they don't get tangled up, it keeps them separated. If you try to move this, it's going to shift, all of these necklaces are going to get all tangled up, and it will be a huge mess to deal with once you get to your new location. So I'm going to show you guys how I take all of these out, and how I keep them separated so that way they're not tangled up, and it's much easier to put them back into your jewelry box. So the items that you will need what I use is my old caboodle from the early 90s. I do know they re-released these, so you can probably find these nowadays other places. But they also have other organizers, I think, that are big links like this as well. But you'll need something that's large enough width-wise to have your necklaces laying flat so that way you can separate them. So if you've never seen a caboodle, it's, uh, you open it like this, you have your compartments at the top. It's supposed to be for makeup but I think it works great. You can have your big like costume earrings on this side. You have this slot where I put my rings and I have this slot where I keep my smaller earrings. And then on the inside, that's where I'll show you guys how I pack my necklaces to move and keep them all separated so they don't get tangled up. So you will need something like this, some kind of container to keep your necklaces in. And the other items that you will need are file folders. So I have a big box of file folders. You'll need file folders or some type of large paper that is fairly thick so that way it'll hold the weight of the necklaces. So like cardstock will work, file folders will work, and other thicker pieces of paper. So you will need that and you will also need scissors and possibly and tape. So I'll bring you over to my table. I'll show you how I spread everything out and how I separate all of my necklaces and put them in my caboodle so that way they're packed up, they're ready, they don't get tangled up, and they're ready to move. The first thing I do is to measure out the length of my file folder and where I need to cut it. So I will cut these all to length and then I'll show you guys how I organize them. So I have all of my strips cut so these will lay flat in the bottom of my caboodle and I'll show you guys how I organize all of my necklaces. So to start off with, I have this necklace that I received from V Love Jewelry. It is a little Hocus Pocus necklace. I thought it was cute. Um, I am, this is a Disney account, so I love Disney stuff. So I'll link her information below, but I'm gonna take this necklace, I'm gonna lay it flat on my file folder. So I'm gonna to try to get it as close to the edge as I can get it. I'm gonna make sure that the necklace is not tangled. So there we go. I'm gonna make sure it's not tangled. I'll have the clip on the top and the charm at the bottom. And all I'm gonna do is take some tape and I'm gonna tape the bottom close to the charm so that way it stays still. And then I'm gonna put some tape up here at the top where the clip is to make sure that that stays still. So I will do that and we'll have our first necklace ready. Very small piece of tape. I'm going to tape it at the top so that way the clip stays at the top. It won't get tangled up. And then I'm gonna take another very small piece of tape and I'm gonna put it at the bottom. So this very small piece of tape is going to go down at the bottom right by where the charm is. And I'm going to tape that together so the charm stays. So then when you pick it up, it will stay on the card and the charms won't shift around too much and nothing will get tangled up. So now I have the pro tedious process of placing all the necklaces one by one. 
So here is my next necklace. It is another necklace from V Love Jewelry. So it's a little glittery, sparkly Mickey. So I'm going to lay this necklace down so the charm is gonna go in the opposite direction so that way I can get these necklaces as closely together as I can. Again, I'll put tape on the top right here where the clip is, and then I'll put tape down at the bottom down here. And so if you alternate necklaces back and forth, that'll give you more space to put as many necklaces closer, as close together as you can to fit a lot on this sheet. So I'll begin working on that And this sheet is full, so I'm ready to put that into my caboodle. That way when you lay another layer down, then they won't get damaged because this um, paper is on the top and they will all stay separated. So this one is ready to go. So here's my completed sheet. I will place it inside my caboodle down at the bottom. See how it fits perfectly down at the bottom there. And so I will just layer each one on top until it's full. So here's a look at what the caboodle looks like. I put all of the chunky necklaces down in the bottom that don't get tangled up or are very easy to get untangled if they do. And then I will just take these sheets. So I'll take these sheets one at a time and slide them into the caboodle. They fit right there and then all of my jewelry will be protected. and ready to go. As you can see on the inside, I do have my necklaces taped. As I did, I put all of my extra accessories and things on top. So now all I have to do is slide the drawers and close the lid. And now all of my jewelry is ready to take with me. So now all of my drawers are now empty. So all of my necklaces are gone on this side as well as this one. All of my drawers are empty. So everything is ready to go inside my caboodle.